guys, I think I got it now. Okay, um, I'm using this. I'm using this. All right. So, I need you all to follow along with me, all right? We have two times two, that's four. Negative two times two equals negative four, right? Negative two times negative two equals positive four. By this math, we can scientifically deduce that if two gay men are to kiss, it's not gay. Okay, so let me explain this. We use the negative sign to indicate that there is gay present. Now, we use negative because across cultures in the past and even now in the present, it is connotatively synonymous with the word bad. Gay equals bad. That is how it is. I mean, think about it. It just rolls right off the tongue. Little Timmy comes walking in your living room with a glass of orange juice. The dumbass falls, spills that shit everywhere. God damn it, Timmy. Why are you so fucking gay? I mean, it just, it just, it just works. Anyway, we're, we're back on track now. Now, you can't say that kissing isn't multiplication, it's addition. You can't say that because kissing is a prelude to sex. Sex. S-E-X. S-E-X. That's why we use multiplication. Also, gay sex is loud. Roll the tape. Okay, loudness is measured in decibels. But decibels, those units of measure don't obey the same rules as traditional math. They are logarithmic, meaning if you have a speaker playing at 20 decibels and you add another speaker playing at 20 decibels, you don't get 40 decibels. In fact, what you get is 23 decibels because sound is logarithmic in its units of measure, just like sex. And that is why we use multiplication. This is, this is fucking science, man. You can't say it's addition because two plus two gives you the same result as two times two. It is not addition. We're not even talking about the lips present. We're talking about balls. Let's write this out for you. We have two gay balls times two gay balls equals four sex points. That number is significant. This is not four balls. This is four sex points. It's a positive number of sex points, meaning straight sex has occurred. And you have an orgasm. Now the or in orgasm is actually short for all right mate yeah it's pretty good. So when you're out in public and you hear two gay guys make out and then afterwards say all right mate yeah it's pretty good. Rest assured nothing gay has actually occurred. Now when you have an equation like what I have right here where a straight man has kissed a gay man you get negative sex points. Now negative sex points results in something called an angasm. Now the and in angasm is actually shorthand for what God will say when you get to heaven which is and what the fuck do you think you're doing down to hell with you gay boy. Balls and sex points are required to have an orgasm. Now for women, when you work out that differential equation, you will receive a zero, and that is why women do not have orgasms. The female orgasm is proven to be a myth in this case. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is stay away from gay balls. Uh, Mr. Weist, I'm kind of confused. What if lesbians kiss? <laughs> well, well, if you paid attention, you would know how to do the math. It's just a simple gay equation, but you apply it to lesbians. So what you have here is gay, zero, because women have no balls, times gay, zero, because it is a lesbian, so the, the, the figures will be the same, and your product will be zero, just like that. But that zero is actually shorthand, and our full figure will be H and T, and that is because when girls kiss, it's, it's fucking hot. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I'm glad I was given the opportunity to talk about this with you today. But if you don't mind, I'm going to be on hey, my way. Wait, Mr. Weiss, uh -huh. can you help me with this question? Yeah, let me see your word. I got stuck. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if it's gay for straight guys to kiss. Well, you answer your own question here. Straight kissing straight is straight because they're, they're straight. I mean, they can't be gay if they're straight. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, no, you're right. Okay, thanks. Alrighty, guys, that is it for me. If you don't mind, I am gonna go French kiss my boys. Hey, hey, Ryan. Yeah? Yeah, hey, d do you get any of this stuff? Like, do you get any of what he was just teaching? Because, like, I'm, I'm trying to do the math to see if it's gay if I kiss my mom, and it says that it's hot. I don't, uh, is that right? Or, what? Oh, well, yeah, actually, uh, there is an exception to the rule. Uh, if you kiss your mom, it's gay because your mom gay.